Now, the film Survival in Shanghai is a Chinese-made documentary that tells the story of how Shanghai sheltered over 20,000 Jewish refugees during the Second World War. On Tuesday, it was screened to the United States Congress. Now, the film made its debut in New York City in 2015, with another screening in Washington, D.C. the same year. The film has since received strong feedback from Jewish people in the U.S., and now it has been screened to the Congress and will be collected by the Library of Congress and the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Why has this film been so warm, warmly received in the United States? Joining me on the line from Washington now is Mr. Yang Yingjie, the producer of this documentary. Yingjie, thank you very much for joining us from Washington, D.C. So, first of all, tell us the story of this documentary. Thank you, you Yes, you were the one who started this idea, who started, who produced this film. What is the story there? Uh, yes, first, uh, very nice to talk to Liu Xin again. And uh, it's our pleasure to present this documentary uh, to the Jewish community of the United States and also to the China's audience. And as we know that 2015 is the 17th anniversary of the World War II. And at that time, uh, Shanghai Holocaust Museum have a coffee shop reopened in Shanghai, Hong Kong district. And the story is from this coffee shop. Why? Because we find that the coffee shop uh, and also the Shanghai Holocaust Museum is among the top five uh, destinations on the TripAdvisor. It's a very famous uh, traveling website in the Western, uh, in the Western world. However, the Chinese pe uh, people may not know uh, where is the museum. So the story comes here, and we began to produce this film. Mm -hmm. How was it received yesterday while you were screening it to the U.S. Congress? What was the reaction of the people there? Yes, um, uh, still there's a story. As you know, before the Holocaust, millions of Jews were trapped in Europe. And in Germany, uh, you have to need a visa uh, or a document of paper permission uh, to leave the country. And also, you need to have a, a recipient a document if we want to leave the labor camp. And uh, at that time, as we uh, interviewed the survivors, they told us that uh, people get visa could go to uh, America, uh, Australia, and uh, Canada, such are good countries. And also some not bad countries, as uh, Brazil or Scandinavia countries. However, among them, the Shanghai is the worst choice. Why? Because it's the time of uh, Japanese occupation and the war is across China and across Shanghai. Mm -hmm. But Shanghai uh, don't need a visa to get in. And there's a regular ship cruise from Italy to China at that time. So if you get one ticket, you could go to Shanghai. So Shanghai became their worst choices. But oh, uh, for this worst choices become their key of survival. And uh, when we uh, film this uh, documentary in the Congress, and uh, we have uh, learned a lot of uh, good stories from the uh, United States. And uh, they said that the friendship is tested in bad time. And what happened in Shanghai and the lasting friendship we found uh, through filming the documentary is the most memorable chapter of the relations between the Chinese and the Jewish uh, communities. And uh, we found that though we have uh, different religions, we share the common values. That's the life value of uh, birth and of saving, of family, of friends, of child, and even of death and birth. And um, as what, just as the uh, ambassador of Israel uh, told us that uh, we should tell the story again and again, because this story testified that humanity prevails even during the darkest era of the human history. And uh, I think that's why we got a warm uh, welcome from the U.S. Congress. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the relationship between China and the United States is a bit tricky at this moment. Did that affect your screening at all? I mean, the people-to-people -people relationship between these two countries. Do you feel that it has been affected or not? Yes, uh, you know, there's an old saying uh, among the Jews that if you save one life, you save the world. 
And just as what we heard um, in the Congress, that the friendship of the people will prevail even in the hardest time. And uh, uh, we met some survivors uh, during our filming in Shanghai. And uh, a survivor called Evelyn, and uh, she told us that she is the only child of her family. And because of the help, because of the shelter of Shanghai, uh, she now has four children, 12 grandchildren, and two great-great-children. So uh, it's because of the Chinese people and because of the friendship of the different countries and uh, her family got to rebirth. And the second, I think uh, the deepest love of Shanghai, of the survivors, and the very vivid mem uh, memory of their uh, day of the city uh, just impressed me a lot. And uh, you could hear some Shanghai Dalits like uh, Jiang Yu soy sauce mm -hmm. and uh, some uh, Yu Tiao, mm -hmm. uh, a kind of uh, breakfast of Chinese and in their narrations. And even the sentence is Mei Yu Fa, that means there's no way. So you could feel uh, their love and feel what this memory helped them to get through the hardest time. And also I think it's the it's, it's, it's just uh, the reason for the people, for the friendship of the uh, China and uh, the friendship of the uh, Jewish community, also the friendship of the Israel and also of, of China and of the United States. Thank you very much, Inji, joining us from Washington, and congratulations once again to your great work. That was Inji, a producer of the documentary film Survival in Shanghai, joining us from Washington. You're watching The Point. Don't go away. My last point is still coming up.